Hey guys, in next 10 minutes I'm going to show you how to use Godox S30 focusing LED lights in product photography. It will be cool, uh, tutorial, stay with me and you'll see everything. If you've seen the first uh, part of this, uh, the review, actual review of those lights, uh, talking about uh, this beautiful Godox S30 lights, check out this video uh, where I'm explaining what it is, so what the best it is and uh, what uh, it actually can be good, where it can be good. Uh, in photography and videography in studio. We have a relatively simple lighting setup with, well, alcohol. Somehow I shoot alcohol more and more, you know, maybe it's age, I don't know. But it looks cool, you know, and it actually attracts lots of viewers, so you're watching it. Alcohol uh, with the, well, with the glass, some fake eyes. Uh, fake eyes, it's something, the acrylic eyes uh, that you can uh, either buy or do it yourself. And I have a beautiful video uh, where uh, I show how to create those um, do-it-yourself um, ice cubes for very little price. Check out, it's cool stuff. So, we have it uh, in the glass, some artistic glass, you know, twisted glass, and uh, the bottle of uh, Glenfiddich, something like this. The idea and the challenge, when you shoot bottles like this, you have a nice label, usually you have some nice label and you have a glass and you have all kinds of stuff. When you just use strip boxes, soft boxes, we have tons of tutorials of how to do this. You know, how we do it usually, when, you know, some nice diffuser on the side and then strip box behind and here and there. It looks all cool, but it's not a dramatic shot uh, in many cases. And uh, good strobes can cost you a lot, plus uh, the soft box, the diffuser, all kind of things uh, can be quite expensive. With these lights, the beauty of these focusing lights, since it's, it can be uh, focused in a very little spot, that you can highlight a label, and for example, on this shot, what I'm doing, I'm highlighting a label, uh, and the glass with one light, with one tiny line of that light, without getting any reflection from the glass. Because it doesn't look good when we have some spot reflection, you no know, bright reflection on a glass from the light, that we tend to use to highlight the label. And with this optical spot, it, it works beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna show you in a moment uh, how to do it in details. You know, if you've seen that first part of the video, uh, what kind of accessories we can use, that we can use gels and all kind of things uh, on uh, these uh, lights. And you see, I mounted this light on a slider. So instead of mounting the camera, I mounted the light. And um, well, it's easy kind of to see what it actually creates on different angle. Plus, when I switch camera to video mode, we can do some uh, cool video footage with the light moving around the subject. The subject can be still, but the light can be moved, okay? And what's cool, I'm going to show you how to use LED lights, these LED lights, with the strobe. Because, for example, we have only two units. Ideally, we should have three, but we have two, and I need three lights for this shot. I need some key light, I need some uh, light uh, from behind, and I need a spotlight. This light is beautiful for spot, you know, creating spot. And actually, you see how cool it could be. In this case, it's not a spot, it's actually the fire projector from that gobo, a little gobo screen that I have inside. But I, have a, I need a spotlight, I don't have it. I'm going to use Broncolor spot. So Broncolor, it's a Fresnel lens on Broncolor head, okay? And uh, while well, modern light is off, we don't need any other continuous light except this. And we're going to use it together with the lights. It's a simple technique. Uh, you can use it all the time when you uh, need to combine continuous and strobes. This unit costs about $250, okay? With all the attachments, it may be a little bit more. I used to use this, uh, this is called uh, optical snoot or optical uh, projector from Burn Color. Optical attachment. It's not a light, it's just an attachment. So this is basically only this part, okay? This part that you put in front of your light. This is a beautiful piece from Burn Color and if you've been with 40G, you, you've seen how I've used it. It's highly, uh, well, great tool for creative minds, for creative photographers. Do you know how much it costs? I just checked <laughs> and it's 20% off right now because of this holiday sales. It's 2,428 or $48. So 
uh, regular price is over $3,000. And again, it's just a piece with a few lenses. There are a few lenses. It works beautiful, not a problem, but just a little bit difference, like 10x actually difference. Okay, so let's start one by one, one light uh, at a time. Uh, let's use this light. And what I'm going to use inside, I'm using uh, things called framing shutter. This is one little accessory that gets inside. And what we can do and what I need to do instead of this uh, nice circle, I'm going to create the line, okay? The line of light. I can really be really precise of, you know, how it looks like. I mean, how wide it is. I can also focus it, right? It's it's really beautiful thing that is focusable, really, really, like, precise. What I'm going to do, what the idea of this light is to highlight, sort of like a touch, the label and the glass. Because glass with ice inside, we have tons of sparkles. I mean, it looks great with some sharp light. Plus the glass, you see it's twisted glass. Uh, it's not really kind of a smooth surface. It's not a curve. So it, it's cool to uh, use this light. Plus this is creative shot. It's not a catalog shot. So let's do this. I'm going to put it so it goes on the label and then continue to the light. I can rotate the whole attachment. You can see how it kind of, uh, well, uh, beside ruining the everything that we just did. Okay, we can rotate it to get necessary angle that we need. I want you to show that we have only highlight on the label. If we see, if I see a little highlight uh, on top, you see I'm going down and it doesn't exist. I'm talking about this little area where it's almost nothing there, just because it's so much spotlight. So this is our light, it gets across and uh, well, this is how it is. Let me put it back. Now I'm going to press shutter on the camera with just this light. So it's continuous light source and uh, of course we need to, well, use different exposure for this type of light. Comparing to strobes, we use long shutter, right? So it's f11, ISO 100, 1.3 seconds shutter speed. Hopefully it will be enough, we'll see, we'll see. And of course I need to shut down all the light in the studio. This is what uh, you may not like, but this is how it works actually uh, with continuous light. I either need to use a remote trigger, this is the best to use remote trigger, or let me show you a simplified version. Since you shouldn't touch camera when it takes such long exposure shots, uh, you set it to two second timer, okay? It easily eliminates everything. So I press, I shut down, and of course manual exposure. Manual exposure, manual focus. So we have this shot, okay, just one light source. You can see that it's already kind of moody shot. We don't see much, right? But with that light, it looks actually pretty interesting. The label and everything, right? Let's add the strobe light. So I'm going to turn on, yep, the trigger. That's uh, Pocket Wizard Plus X the simplest trigger ever I can find, and it triggers our brown color. Brown color is a relatively low power mode. It's about 90 watt second, okay? 90 watt second light. Any speed light can do this. How I find this? Well, I, I tested before. No modeling light, because modeling light will add colors, some other color than this. Uh, we don't need it. So modeling light is off, uh, this light is on. The same exposure, the same exposure, and let's click. Okay, we have that spot. It's slightly on on other side. I want to move it slightly, slightly, slightly to the left. But basically, you see, together it looks looks fine. We just need to add a little bit more, a little bit more uh, drama to this shot. Let's turn on this light. Okay, I have this cool projector, projection pattern, uh, this flame. It's not necessary for this image. It's basically, I mean, for this shot, uh, basically for fun to show you <laughs> something, but we really don't need it. 
However, however, I really like to uh, use some pattern when I highlight uh, bottles like this because if it's not um, just a spotlight but some, you know, um, pattern, it usually looks interesting. So let me highlight it this way. And as you can see, I use orange gel, okay? Or orange gel is inside this light. And let's take a shot. So mainly this is for our glass. And a little bit for the label. Okay, you see it looks cool. So what if you will put this light right here? No, actually, yeah. Let's say like here, right here. We'll see. Not sure how it will work, but we can try. Okay, a little bit more Photoshop work to remove uh, that light actually that is visible. It's kind of interesting. And what about... What about this type of light pattern? Maybe I can make it even a little bit brighter. It's actually 17% from the maximum. Let's put like 37. <clears throat> so it will be lots of highlights. Woo! probably will be too much. Yeah, the main um, advantage of this light is that it's really small. It's really hard to find uh, such a little spot that can be focused actually on very relatively large area or on a really, really small area. For example, we can try, uh, we're gonna use it right now, the iris, okay? There is pretty cool iris that supplies. Again, check out the review, uh, the first part of this, of this Godox S30 lights and uh, see how it works. With this attachment, with this attachment, we can just be really, really crazy of what is going on. I'll show you. It creates such a tiny spot. That is just amazing. I could never do such thing with even brown color because it's just, well, it's not made to be that small. Check it out. The distance, I don't know, like three feet, See how small it is, and we can focus it even more, you know, to be really, really like, and I never seen anything like this uh, on the lights that I was using, you know, with optical snoots, all kind of optical snoots, uh, different snoots. Uh, let's see, if there is any cool thing that we can get. I believe it's the same thing. Okay, the same thing. The same thing, the same thing, the same thing. What about if you stick it here? just inside the glass. You know, trying to brainstorm for you some ideas, some, you know, to show you possible, possible, possible things. You'll be probably too much, no? Let's see. No, actually, look at this, woo! You know, guys, I didn't plan it. Uh, it was just pure, and we can actually increase the size. You see, I'm uh, increasing the size of iris, and the whole thing now will be like glowing. Look at this. That glass with the ice. That's, I know, whiskey on rocks. Look at this. Super cool. Hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, if you have some questions, here's the, you know, whole question and answer thread under the video. Make sure to send me a question. I'll be happy to answer you. If you have any ideas about what you would like to see on 40G channel, on 40G YouTube channel, again, please comment and uh, we'll be glad to make it happen because we're looking for some creative ideas from you, from our viewers. All the links uh, to the gear that we use is on, on the comment area and description of uh, this video. Uh, check out 40G gear page, uh, again, where you will find all these kind of optical snoots and everything. Subscribe to the channel, make sure to turn on notification. Every new video, I promise you, every time it will be a cool video, well, you'll be notified, you'll be first who will see it. Okie dokie, see you next time. Goodbye.